So just a quick uh, update on uh, the mysterious carved rock at uh, Boromusa. If you see my video, previous video of uh, the Cimbrian uh, campaign against uh, the Romans, then um, I was visiting uh, the old uh, Iron Age for, uh, fort or village of Boromusa in uh, Himalam in uh, western Jutland and there was a rock at the entrance with a carving of uh, the uh, a, a, a motif from one of the panels on the Gundestrup cauldron which is an Iron Age Celtic Iron Age cauldron very famous for its it's uh, quite a like a really magnificent magnificent silver silver cauldron with uh, Celtic motifs uh, carved onto it or, or engraved in it and um, this rock, uh, I had uh, one of these motifs, and it confused me because there's, I couldn't find anything, any information on it online, which would indicate that it's not a, a find. On the same time, when I had a look at it, it was simply covered with a Christotius uh, lichen, which I know from. Uh, walk a lot in the mountains at home in Norway so I know they take like crazy long time to grow one millimeter a year or less so it kind of it didn't compute in my brain um, so I went home uh, and uh, wrote to um, uh, West Himmelands Museum West Himmelands Museum the archaeologists there and asked if they could uh, enlighten me and they were really quick to answer come by then I just get my dog with me and they were really quick to answer so the first one I wrote to he didn't really know too much about it but he was quite sure it was a replica but he uh, contacted a colleague who uh, more had this area as his uh, speciality and uh, he uh, could tell me uh, more about this this was a rock that was carved by an artist um, Christian Andersen and uh, yeah then it's been placed at Boromose Festning Boromose Fort but uh, when you read about them there'll be a link in the description uh, this artist uh, <laughs> this particular rock isn't mentioned so uh, you can't really find any information on it so it can be a little bit confusing which it was to me if you look at the lichen growth on it it seems to indicate it's quite an age but I should probably have looked closer because uh, to do it properly you have to measure uh, like the size of the lichen if you want to estimate age and um, I mistook probably clusters of lichens as singular lichen. So uh, it, 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 it would be then that uh, there were just a very, very large amount of clusters in a high concentration. Uh, and this made it look like uh, they were, it was like three or four or five large uh, lichens. But I, I guess if I just had looked closer, I could have uh, seen that. Anyway, it was nice to get the um, clarification. They were very helpful and gave me some other tips for the area, which I look forward to uh, having a look at. Generally, this area, West Himmelan, if you if you, one visits Denmark and is interested in history and archaeology, uh, the area south of Limfjorden, south uh, on the west side of Denmark, is uh, also north, but around Limfjorden yeah, is just uh, very rich on uh, cultural finds and mounds and all this stuff. It's a very interesting area. So that was uh, the rock at Budamusa. Still a nice rock. Um, 
just not that old. Huh? 